Uh, uh, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll uh, be your captain here. What? Well, it happened again. Uh, what? Why? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, for some reason, Twit uh, Discord is being weird with OBS today because apparently it's refusing to show the game. It's it seems to be stuck on a single frame. From a uh, OBS for some reason. Uh, is that okay? When I lower, yeah. and now it's I... in Minecraft. And, and now it's back. Okay. It it it's my. Th... It's when I op. It's when I re bring the game up that that happens. It seems that has never happened before. Uh, if I make it smaller... So now I can see the game. And us. And the moment I click on the game, it screws itself up, or is it... Uh, are you in the game now? Yeah. Alright, then you made it work again. Okay, I made the game small uh, in a smaller window. And if I do this... Still, still the same? Move. Okay. The, what okay. the heck happened? Yeah, it, it wasn't full screen. It uh, well, that was an intro. Uh, yeah, welcome back, everyone, to our second Ultimate Seven um, World. And uh, it has been a while since we've been uh, since we've streamed of this game. Uh, let me first off hide all of those waypoints. Uh, that still hasn't burned down. But I have been a bit busy with some other stuff around here. For one, I've had to raise the roof quite a bit more. I've started up a little farm here with these source berries. I'll need to make a full farm of those for you know, Ars Nouveau later. Also, I I realized that I had misaligned this thing here. Because it wasn't set in the middle, it was set off to the sides. Also, though, it, I have changed it to a kelp farm instead of a tree farm. Because I've made a... Well, more room efficient, <clears throat> a more room efficient tree farm, and yeah, we moved the we moved the Nether portal out here, so well, <laughs> no Firefoxes have a chance to get in to the tower and burn the place down. Also, I have most of my gear stuff stored here because well, I wasn't going to lose it down there. I'll pick that up later. For now. Let me just show you what else I've been doing, what else I've done in the tower. And that is, well, first and foremost, is this elevator over here, which I have with the, the which I have control over with this controller. So, yeah, I can use that to go up and down, hold it in the middle of a movement. It, yeah, the, the, 
the tunnel I've dug for it goes down quite a bit long, uh, quite a bit lower than the uh, tower at the moment goes. Um, also, yes, uh, very obviously as well, I made a double cobblestone generator over here, which is well hung over the, <clears throat> which is hung over the crossing wheels down there. So that's getting fed into, and yeah, why? Since I have lava over here, anyways, I've got these uh, I've got these cauldrons and dripstone underneath them to collect lava. I haven't found a way to automate remove putting the uh, lava from the cauldrons into this fluid tank over here with a second one underneath it to act as a buffer. Probably for the best. And yeah, it, it appears that dripstone will just keep dripping lava down. No matter what, it's just a random, it's just random of how long it takes to fill a cauldron. And yes, I am aware of the gap there. I removed a bunch of these. This was a little setup for a test uh, to see if a block of coal would do better work than nine pieces of coal, which is are needed to make a block. And uh, yeah, there is a small difference, as in exactly eight cobblestone difference. Yeah, a, a block of stone, uh, yeah, a block of coal will smell like it is made of 10 coal instead of 9. Which is a small thing, I'd say, but probably still useful if you, well, automate smelting like that. And uh, yeah. yeah, also, I don't think, I don't know if this was here before, in the last stream as well. It has been that damn long, over a month, I think. And you were going to say something? Uh, what to say? If you multiply it, it actually becomes a, a big factor. Just like, if you, if you were to do uh, like a full stack of uh, coal blocks, that little percentage will be quite a lot of cobblestone. True. And we have still been having this thing run to make smooth stone. Just a simple little thing. And yeah, that up there is what is powering, or well, <laughs> would move the elevator. I'll probably block this out of sight at some point, but for now, not yet. Uh, because I've been busy with other things. And yeah, just in case this wasn't here last time, this is Tom's Simple Storage Mods, which, well, if you put this thing, the inventory connector, near a bunch of <laughs> chests, it'll, well, connect them all together so you can access them to a, a terminal. This is a crafting terminal that I've put on it, which is a more advanced version, which also adds this over here for, well, crafting, obviously. And it was pretty expensive at the cost of two uh, diamonds, but since then I've uh, found a good amount more, as you can see. Here. And yeah, just another crafting station, smithing station, loom over here. I'm not sure if these chats are connected to it as well. Uh... But we have plenty of storage as is, with, yeah, <laughs> over half of the uh, storage in this open still. Despite all of the many, many things that are in here, like 3,000 flint. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, also, you, you, you're not forgetting something special about the elevator, have you? What? <laughs> that I was... Hot on designing it, maybe? Uh, you did give the idea to use the stone instead. I, I It was just wood before, but uh, it was proving rather problematic. And that parts of it were <laughs> kept, you know, left behind. And at other points, I just ran out of range of the connectors up there. Or rather, the redstone links that actually activate this thing. As you can look. If I press control, there we go. Yeah, no, for this part, I was, uh, I think it was more sure we uh, gave it the idea to you was probably the glowstone sense. Yeah, that is well. well. Then, you know, then you know it's coming. Yeah, the glowstone light sources on the contraption actually don't give off any light because, yeah, Minecraft can't handle moving lights like that. But it does make it easier to spot all the same. Yeah, it says once it's landed, you will have time to see it. Yeah. Moving down to the second floor, which, well, I've changed the flooring out. Uh, yeah, I really don't remember what was and wasn't 
place down last time, so I'll just cover everything. We have just a <laughs> this giant mechanical crafter here for if we need... Well, we are going to need more crushing stones in the future. And we also with a press and a mixer next to it, all fueled by one single source. Which might have been a... Well, the way I designed this is that I it could be moved back into the wall and it would still fit against the wall. But yeah, it's a bit of a prototype. And well, if I were to dig it out here, it would stick out like this, stick out the side of the hill like a sore thumb. Then yeah, over here, we still have this. To, uh, cover that hill at some point. Yeah. Uh, I put a, a tank up above to uh, well have extra storage because this can only hold like four buckets of lava. This can hold a ton of them. And over here, some of the dusts and other mechanical stuff that I was experimenting with. Uh, yeah, this omnidirectional hopper, I, anything I put in here gets put into the controller and thus into here. And over here is uh, an attempt at an automated uh, <laughs> block forming system. It's, well, it didn't work out completely, so I'll just remove these. And all of those get put in here, yep. Along with all of the metals I've smelted through this. Uh, basically what happens if I if this is activated and this isn't disabled is any metals that get smelted immediately get pulled into the fluid tank. It can only hold one type at a time though. And then it gets pulled in gets pulled out of the fluid tank and into this uh, spout here. And once that reaches um, 800 and uh, yeah 810 millibuckets uh, that it, is that yeah that is the amount which is the amount of our nine ingots it will fill the uh, casting basin and because it has a hopper underneath it immediately gets drawn into here actually i should probably put you know, go put these into the storage so i'll just do that quickly there is a wireless thing for this but i haven't touched that yet um, oh, well power. Uh, did I just put away the hammer? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, good thing I did notice that. Uh, just dump off some extra stuff. Those and those, 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 and we'll keep the apples as food at least. <laughs> Is it the princess hammer? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is all still the same, except for the addition of, well, all of that to power the pump here. Uh, if this was sim similar with a lot of other, uh, as with most other create stuff, it needs to be powered. But if it goes, you know, if I were to, if it were spinning in the other direction, it would actually try to suck stuff out of the spout. And let's see, over here, just a basic start, also an open floor bit. <laughs> Uh, this is ba this is just a thermal, uh, yeah, a heat generator, surrounded by lava on each side, which causes it to passively produce energy, which is all being fed into this basic uh, energy cube, which is more than full enough, and yeah, metallurg yeah, metallurgic infuser on top of it. Through this, we can well put redstone and other stuff in here. And that would then get, well, infused into whatever we put in here. If it is uh, a valid recipe. So with this, we could make, let's see, fluid tank. Uh, there we go. We could make we could make advanced uh, fluid tanks through the use of these infused alloys. I will be touching, I will be expanding on this further, which is why I've left this area open for the moment. And... Yeah, uh, this is also powering something else down here, as you can see, and which is why I've had to, well, it, is, it isn't really visible at the moment here, but I've had to put a few more of these <laughs> water wheels back no. here. Oh dear gods. And yeah, they are all running at maximum capacity. Why is this looking a bit odd here then? Let's see. There we go. That was strange. Still running at maximum capacity, but still. Okay. 
Then, yeah, let's move down to the next floor. Also, I made this to make it just easier to get up and down instead of just having to rely on the staircase over there. I'll, pro I'll eventually replace this with just uh, ender elevators. This place, ha I haven't... Yeah, I haven't corrected the floor on yet. And yeah, first thing over here, which just is just finishing up something. Uh, yeah, an, um, a mechanical crafter that turns the iron nuggets. Yeah, that gets that get washed by the well, the, the automated gr bleh, the grindstones and the washing system. It turns them into bars, and quite a few already. I run a stack of them through the press to get some metal plates. And on the side here, it's also powering another... Is it... Oh, I think it's still active. Or not. Uh, yeah, another mechanical crafter. Yeah. Also, you can... I learned that you can change the back of these to make them all take the same input. Uh, though I haven't automated that yet. And what that makes is, well, a bunch of axes. Enough to have oh, filled this are. up now. <laughs> And those axes get dropped into bonsai, uh, what are the bonsai pots, which well, automatically makes them harvest the uh, the, yeah, the trees that we have growing in them. We have uh, yeah, underneath each of those, I put a chute so that all of the wood and such gets pulled out. And yeah, that is how we have an automated tree farm now, which well, a lot, <laughs> which takes up a lot less space than just giving each of these um, uh, the roundabout. Yeah. Also There's... safer. Yeah, it, it was uh, annoying to set up, and for some reason, uh, things that get put on uh, around... The, the axes that go around the corner in these bits don't actually get picked up by the chute. So, yeah, there's some gaps here, so it isn't a fully 100% efficient. But it works. And over here, we have a bit of a, a lineup. And what this is for... I put those away. I need to go grab those again. Uh, also, I disassembled the, the quarry machine. So, I'll just grab... A gold sheet. Actually, I'll just... Gold yeah. plate. I'll just grab all of them. I have seen a little bit of these people. But there's a lot of things I had not seen, like this. Yeah. I know he talked to me about it. So this is the first time he's seeing some of these things. Actually, I think there might not be enough on the... The, the thing with this is, is that to make the these things, precision mechanisms, you, need, you can't make them normally. What you actually need to do to make these is to have it run underneath deployers, which with a normal cogwheel, a large cogwheel, and then an iron nugget, and then repeat that five times. So it has a failure rate of about 20. And these are basically the current end game in Create, because with them you can re create the mechanical arms, which are very useful, though, yeah, since you need precision mechanisms, also very annoying to make. And rotation oh. speed controllers. I think there was another thing that you could make with them. Uh, oh, okay. Mechanical crafting. The Wand of Symmetry. Let's see. Perfectly mirrors block placement across configured planes. Okay. And <laughs> launch your homegrown vegetables at your enemies. Can be powered with air pressure from a b copper back tank. Okay. Shoots a suitable item. Okay, so not just potatoes, possibly. <laughs> Wait, what other cannons can we make? Yeah, only that. And last but not least, we have the Extendo Grip, which, well, increases... If we have this thing equipped in our offhand, or our main hand, it it increases our reach a hell of a lot. It's like having, well, one of those Tori Extendo Grips, oh. only, well, big-sized. <laughs> I think I've seen that one on YouTube. It looks so ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, also, down there, I've made a bit... You know, I already had... You know, shown Vakir a bit about that. That is as low as I as I'm allowing the elevator to go at the moment because that's as low, well, about as low as it will go while still responding to the controller. But out of precaution, I've made it into a water basin instead. Uh, 
the, the elevator will get stopped a little bit above it by that little corner bit there. But yeah, in case, I mostly I made that uh, because sometimes I've fallen through the elevator as it was moving and stopping. Because, yeah, <laughs> of course it's going to be a little bit finicky with moving things. And uh, yeah, it has dropped me down the shaft a few times. Alien, for love of Odin, that's why people invented safety railings. <laughs> now, no, not that I walked off it, <laughs> it's that the, I fell through the freaking elevator. What? Captain Helium, folks, everyone. I didn't walk into it. I haven't done that a single time yet. It's just that the elevator sometimes, as it transitions between moving and stopping, sometimes it glitches out a bit and drops you straight through the floor of it. Yeah, that's what I said. That's Helium, folks. You do yeah. have sometimes the weirdest bad luck. Anyways, I've got a few other chests around the place, and also this thing over here, this Mega Torch. Uh, basically, this... This blocks any egg mobs from spawning in a four uh, in a four chunk radius, I believe. I'm not entirely sure on that. That is what it said that it does. So yeah, most of this place is safe now, even uh, if I were to break all of the torches all around the place, supposedly. And yeah, in the nether, I've also gone looking around some more. And I found another Ooh. fortress. Well, I found a few, actually. And because I found materials in that and some other places, I've, mostly, I've dropped those off in these chests here. Uh, also over here. Just to have them kept apart from the stuff that I've already collected. To show that, well, I, I did find those. I'm not trying to sneak them in or something. And yeah, that's about, that's about all that's been done and changed. I could make a few more things with Create, uh, like automated cooking and smelting stuff, so I wouldn't have to have all of these furnaces around anymore. But I'll probably sp I'll probably try and build that some other time. For the moment, I want to focus more on uh, let's see, that's I want to focus more on the magic mods for a moment, or at, at least a few streams, and. Oh dear. But also, I have just an idea of a thing you are missing. Oh? You are missing a very, very important thing in your base. What, the foxhound? Uh, uh, that too. That too. What you're missing is... Days without accident sign. <laughs> the, the first thing that would happen if I put one of those up is that it would fall off and land on my head. God. Thank you for the mental image. <laughs> and I just realized that we don't have a broom stand set up anywhere. Uh, yeah, this little extra thing here is just so if I have a backpack full of stuff to be ground down, I can just put it down there and it'll get emptied on its own eventually. Also, the reason of this sec another reason for this one down here is so I can just walk over from the smeltery and just grab out of this one with the bucket. Instead of having to walk all the way up and down again. I could just I could just make some extra pipes and just have it feed into it automatically. But yeah, for that we would need a bunch of steel, of which I don't actually have much yet. I could get more of that if I go deeper into mechanism. But as I said, I want to focus more on the magic for the moment. And with that, we have the scribes tablet your table here still. But we didn't really move on with that because we needed nether stuff to upgrade our spell book. And yeah, I'm just going to grab my backpack again. Swap that out with that one. Looks like I just put it in there. There, yes. Actually, what happens if I try that? Okay, it prioritizes the one in the other, you know, in the accessory slot. And might as well just collect these again. Okay. 
those. There we go. Uh, not sure if I pointed these out before, but these are Feral Claws, increase attack speed, and the Power Glove increases damage. Plus four, actually, which is very good. Uh, Shock Pendant gives a chance to strike ang attackers with lightning. Also, always nice. And, well, the Villager Hat. Uh, the, I, he he has become a bit of Van Gogh and uh, oh dear I I gotta hate myself to say this angry video game Dutchman <laughs> okay. a bit on the nose uh, maybe maybe not uh, I'll just put those in there that as well and that and that. Uh, yeah, this umbrella, I'm not sure if we had it before or if I found it while screwing around in the nether. But basically, uh, Drake already knows what this thing can do, but it basically makes us Mary Poppins. Yeah, for, you only showed me, for that was not in the streams. I can confirm this. This is new. Okay. Now, let's dig through the chest that I had set aside with everything. Okay, that's just a bunch of mechanical stuff. Uh, this was this is the materials and extra stuff from the, the drill and some geodes. I'll grab those. Uh, yeah, I, I'll try to have some... I'll have to... I'll, yeah, I'll try to have a mining bore built some other time for the moment. Uh, let's put those on there. Let's see. Okay, some basic things. I also found this, a scroll for throwing knives, schematics to be put on this. Uh -oh. uh, same as, I could probably throw this away because we already have one of these. Um, there's no sign by the elevator. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, this was a note, a note for where the oh. amethysts uh, spawn, of which I have found one. Uh, let's see, does it show it? No, that does not show it. <laughs> Uh, a good while down, I found a, uh, an amethyst reasonably close by, and after checking up on Ars uh, Nouveau and you know, stuff, you don't actually need an intact amethyst. You, uh, that's uh, there is that amethyst golem, but you, it will actually make its own budding uh, amethysts from amethyst blocks. So yeah, there, there's no need to have one or to build nearby an amethyst. Yay! So we can have that little bugger in the base, then. Yeah. Uh, they work similarly to the Drigmies, in that you have to set them a home. And, uh, yeah, it'll work with the uh, Amethyst blocks within its range. Uh, ten blocks every distance. And let's see. Uh, we found I, nice. I found some night vision goggles, <laughs> which, well, they proved to be very useful last time. Uh, a lot of compressed arm uh, iron armor. A blank rune. I don't know exactly what we can do with this yet. Uh, let's actually take a look. Uh, gray rune, light orange. Okay. Uh, is that? I'm guessing that. Uh, let's see. Oh, does it? You used it to upgrade armor, perhaps? I guess. Let's see, enchantments. I don't. I don't know even what this reactive one to three means with things, but I'm guessing it. Yeah, upgrades. Hmm. I'm guessing it's upgrades. Uh, enchantments from level one to two or three and such. Uh, let's see some gravis sands. Okay. Is there anything we can do with that? Oh, hello. That's made with ender pearls? Hmm. All right. I have no idea. Let's have a little... Actually, I think I have a feeling of what this actually might do. Or not. I was expecting it to fall into the sky. Okay. Uh, yeah, some diamond horse armor... Was some other in the other one as well. Amber gel branches, golden frog legs, a bunch of potions, 
bombs wait. and wait, 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 wait. Golden frog legs. Yep. What the heck? <laughs> some raw zinc. I'll run that through the crusher. Some explosive minigun ammo. Blaze gold nuggets. I probably should collect all of these together and see how many of how many yeah, ingots we can make with that. Because blaze gold, I believe, is a very good material for making things in uh, tinkers. Right. Let's see. Uh, bee cage, humanoid flesh, which is actually needed for re to making rejuvenated flesh, which well, infinite source of food as long as that has blood in it. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Hey, okay. flesh golems, got it. Sh all right. Also Even more diamond armor. Uh, let's see uh, some wild horns, soul gems, a skillet, which you can use as a weapon, but it's also something you can use with cook to cook with. Also a good band. <laughs> okay, a saddle. Uh, another of these uh, schematics, slimy seeds, more blank runes, some diamonds, what the emeralds. Heck is wrong? Hmm? You, your voice turned slightly electronic for a moment. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, I. I yeah, it, 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 it seems it, it seems that the, the, my microphone seems to be wigging out somewhat. Yeah, for yeah. yeah. It happens randomly. Yes, you can go for several minutes just fine. There's only a short moment for one word or two. It turns electronic. Let's see. Magmatic stone can be turned into magma blocks. And let's see. A lost scroll of Erdos. The scrolls contain material. Okay, there's that's experience stored into it. Uh, mine cards, detector rail, and some of these. Ember gem, uh, you know, which well can be made into these gel blocks, though you can't actually do anything with those. I'm guessing they would function similarly as a slime box, and I I found them in the Nether. Uh, let's see, anything more we can use here? We have a glow trap. Let's see, touch, rune, snare, extend time, and conjure mage light. Snares the target and grant on uh, get, uh, grants other targets glowing. Okay, that might be nice. Yeah, that would mean they will be unable to be stealthy. Nope. Since, well, yeah, they, they are very much lit up. And I think what glowing actually does is that it shows you things uh, through blocks as well. We had lost, in the previous world, we had that eye thing that would, uh, that would show things through, well, it showed everything through uh, blocks as well. And, yeah, an obsidian skull. That it's basically copied over from Terravia, which it grants us temporary immunity to fire damage. So, can we put that into here somewhere? There we go. Okay. It's um, on your belt. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. We can put that on. And, let's see. Any other equipables? Not really. Okay, now before we go off, let's run these things through here. Can we actually crush that? Yes, that will just give dust. Some things will just get destroyed by the crushers if they don't have a recipe, like these things. Okay. Put the rest of these away. Keeping the wall and the horns be. just in case. At this and... moment, I can see the villagers making rumors about you, like the mad pirate tech wizard. It is said to have a secret deep factory dungeon under his lighthouse. Uh, it wouldn't be too inaccurate. Uh, let's see, can we run that through the crusher? No, we need to crush those manually for evil crafts. And let's see. Uh, yeah, all of, I've got all of the amethyst in here, as well as a uh, few dowsing rods that I use to find the <clears throat> to find the uh, amethyst, the dark gem, invigorator. Let's 
But let's grab all of these things that we don't want crushed out of here. And just put this thing to over there for them to be crushed. Uh, oh, okay, I only now notice that even during this where my... For me, the cursor is white, but on stream it's black for some re yeah, reason. Wait, wait, hold on. You never knew it's always been black? Now, I, I thought if it for, was for me, uh, it, if it was white for me still in a, in a game, that it would be white on stream as well, but yeah, apparently I was wrong with that. It has been that ever, ever since I joined. Kind of why I once mistook your arrow for a banana fly. <laughs> I did tell you this. Okay, must I? Yeah, must have. <laughs> I must have forgotten. Uh, or do you do you have snow flies where you live? Uh, we have fruit flies. Uh, that we also have. At least they are less annoying than their bigger cousins. True. Uh, let's see. I'm just putting away everything that would get destroyed. Uh, that doesn't actually leave too much in this thing over. Uh, basalt, basalt. There we go. Ooh, good basalt. And then we just plunk that there. And it will start feeding into this. We could just we could just put stuff in there manually ourselves, but this in, this just does it faster. <laughs> it's... I love those claws on your head. It's basically your own version of a hook. <laughs> okay then. Uh, with all of that settled, uh, let's actually get into Ars Nouveau a bit more. Uh, put those away. That away. Yeah, but at this rate, I think we should probably soon start building the actual tower. Now, oh, this is the. Yeah, you mean building up floors upwards? Yeah, since it, it probably could need to have the magic stuff within the tower itself, but we had the factories downstairs. Not true. So I, I don't think it, many of the these magic stuff really needs to be in the basement, since I don't really need to hide anything with them <laughs> no <laughs> uh, not too much at least i think some things actually work better if exposed to the lights we can make balconies balconies in shape of half ships <laughs> okay let's see um i thought i'd found some blaze rods in the nether i i know at the very least that i found or i fought some blazes so let's see Actually, no blaze rods. Okay. Um, let's see. There might... I, so, okay, yeah, that's still in here. The silky cloth from Tinkers, which we can use... Yep, to give something silk touch. Um, yeah, we, we've used that. We used that previously to collect uh, spawners, and that is something we'll do again. Uh, just what do we need? Rose gold ingots. Okay, and to make rose gold, we need to... There we go, molten. Okay, gold and copper. And we are going to need... Let's see. We are going to need five of those. Okay. So, gold. There we go, five... Copper, also five, and a bunch of string, or I forget, uh, of which we don't actually have that much at the moment. Um, let's see, we can, let me just grab that, and I think I put, yes, we'll just quickly make a quick little farm with you know, for these. Uh, because from the industrial hemp, we can actually make uh, string. So, would have helped if I brought dirt along to make this big of a bigger area, but I will. I'll just... Oh. 
Okay, that, that actually also harvests at a distance, apparently. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, needs to be within four range of a water source. So I'll just quickly dig out an area. I'll, I'll remove these sometime later. But for now, we just we just need some string quick. You try to get string from? Oh no, no, no. Okay, now now I get you. Now I get you. Yeah. I thought you were trying to get string from grass. No. Okay. I think that's possible, but just it will be damn tedious. Also, it might have been a better idea for me to actually put all of that over here or right next to the entrances, which spare me a run all the way back and forth. But oh well. Yeah, we did say we were to do a nice garden, so we would probably need to gather some dirt and raise the ground evenly. Okay, we have no bone blocks at the moment, but you do have plenty of bones. So there. Uh, let's see. After we've made the silky cloth, we can go visit the Nether Fortress. I've emptied out some of the. There we go. I've emptied out some of the uh, chests there, but there are still spawners for us to find. There. Okay, and we just combine those together in threes to make that. Okay, we need eight for each, and we need five, so we need 40 strength total. So just continue on here for a little bit. Also, now that we're right next to it, it wasn't actually too hard to completely fill this thing up with water. I just need to put water blocks along the edges and then put one against the uh, machine whilst it was standing still and would fill in the rest around it, mostly. So, it, yeah, it wasn't that as difficult to set up as one might think it would. I, I just hope it's safer from uh, you accidentally keep cutting yourself. <laughs> yeah, for this one, I have to actively fall into it. Right. Next time you be, uh, think with it, put put some more safety railings on it. Uh, probably some iron bars should do for that. And there we go. Just combine them together. I already have enough, but oh well. Can always use more. Oh, that's okay. not a bad idea. Electrified iron bars. That, yeah, that should keep you from falling in. I think there actually are those in this mod pack, in the uh, security craft mods. Okay. What? First off, we shut that off. And there we go. Mostly this thing is here just to allow me to put in bigger stacks. Uh, is it me or does it look like a speaker? <laughs> sort of. Okay. Does it have that, it, it looks like it. you also had glasses. Uh, oh. Uh, actually, might as well just show off this thing working then. Just get the single ingot out of there. Because this does work best when it's in uh, entire blocks. Otherwise, there will be remaining fluids left in the system. But uh, yeah, we have one block of rose gold in here. Let me empty this thing out for a moment. Uh, and I think you broke the thing. Now it's just turned off. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, now it's on. It won't move automatically because it takes a bit for it to start moving through the system. And there we go. We can see it emptying out. And the spout gets filled up. And once that's full, it automatically <laughs> empties it out. And yeah, because of this, <clears throat> because of the hopper, once this is cooled, it poof goes into here. Magic. <laughs> but yeah, I, still as it as it is, it is best for me to only put one material in at a time, because otherwise it'll. Uh, 
I think I just... I just realized I've forgotten where I put the damn anvil. <laughs> Did I put it in here? You... You misplaced an anvil. Uh, let's see, what do they call the pin? Three, no. Not create. <laughs> I've been use I've been working with create too long. Okay, tinker and let's see, where are they? Wait, that's supposed to be a bunch of examples for uh, there, here we go. The Tinker's Anvil. I'm, I think we had yeah, we we made one of those eventually at one point because we can't make the hammer without it. So where the hell did that thing go? Yeah, wait. Wait, did you try to move it or something? Uh, well, I had to have moved it, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to build all around it. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the damn... Um, pink one, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> so we have enough metals now to make it out of a different thing. Yeah, maybe uh, for the best. It's enough we have a... Uh, magical princess hammer. So <laughs> let's hammer. make it out of copper. Constant... Signalum... Enderium... Invar... Bronze... I think it was... It, it was orange. Actually, was it orange? We either made, either made it out of amethyst bronze... Or just bronze, but I don't think we had amethyst at the time. Hmm. Sure. Uh, so bronze or some other more cooler color would be nice. Let's see. Invar, Electrum, Brass, Bronze. Wait, you might have made it of brass. Yeah, uh, could have been, yeah. Or we had an idea for it. Hmm. Refined obsidian. Let's see. No, not that. Uh, let's see. Refined obsidian is made of... Oh! Gem... <laughs> diamonds. Okay, that is a bit much. It would be fancy hmm. anvil, but still... Let's see. We are not that rich. We can't make one out of copper because that's too soft of a metal. I didn't mean to throw that out there. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, bronze. Yeah, let, let's let's just make it out of bronze. For that, we need to alloy tin and copper. Okay, so copper. Whatever you do, don't drop it on your foot. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty heavy stuff. Okay. This will either give us one or two blocks of it. Uh, remember to turn this thing off because it will immediately suck out any uh, met. <clears throat> Any metal that will you know, bleh, that is melted. Let's see. Three to one it gives four ingots. Okay, so we'll get four blocks out of this. Okay. Um, yeah, we can we can turn on the crane once it's become an alloy. Yeah. We okay. definitely should make another one of these soon that is dedicated for weapons. Uh, yeah, maybe... Well, we could maybe ma turn this one... In. We could... Ugh. What I'm trying to say is that we could make a, a smelter over here. Maybe take out a bit of the wall for that. And so all of the lava that gets fed into there gets fed into the smelting smelter specifically. And then the, we can Good keep idea. the alloying one over here. Yeah. Okay. 
We did talk about being a cool looking uh, smelter for the weapons and armor that could look kind of magical, so to speak. Yeah. And the reason I did that is, well, if you right click with the, uh, yeah, the wrench on, <clears throat> on fluid pipes that go in a straight line, you'll actually put a window on them, just like with uh, the chutes. And yeah, I was a bit late with that, but if, if I'd been quicker with that, you could see the fluid move up through it. And yeah, it'll it'll wait until the under yeah, until the basin is empty underneath it. So it won't spill out or anything. And uh, the, yeah, this box has a big one. <clears throat> uh this I I'd explained this to Drakir before, but this uh, fl item drain, if we put in like a, a bucket of, iron, you know, of uh, liquid iron, it would get pulled into that and poured into the basin. And here's our bronze. Yeah. What I want to say is, the bronze has some nice texture. Okay, I think I have some spare seared bricks lying around. Because those are needed. It Okay, to make the anvil. Scored. Scored stone. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Scored. Oh, okay. Uh, don't think we have full access to that yet. Let's see. Seared stone, cracked seared stone, see. Hmm. Actually, I think seared stone is let once it passes by again. It was, okay, seared bricks work as well. We have two of those, and we are slow low on that. Do we have any more? We don't have any more grout, but we do know we can easily make that. We should have if we still have the materials. Okay. Um, yeah, we're out of clay. Okay, then. Oops. For that, we can just grab some sand. Uh, not too much, because we still needed to make it more. And... Um, actually... Okay, there's sand in there still. Grab that, and I think I'm, I'm going to need to BRB in a bit. I should improve oh, this. Again. Here we go. Uh, that needs to be. That is not. Go that is not going to be washed in time because it's too big of a stack, maybe. But oh yeah, this needs this needs to be emptied quick. Um. I'll just throw a bunch of stuff there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, grab that. Put it through there. That should turn that into clay. And yeah, I'll do the BRB right now. Let's see, 52. If
Okay, and back. Starting the timer again, because, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've started to just grab that thing and take it with me. So, yeah, I don't need to keep count of how long I'm away. Uh, okay. I come back and you were only away for two minutes. Yeah. And, okay, that only gave us a bit of clay, because it is still only a percentage of uh, turning into something else. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, 25% chance to get sand turned into clay. So it is 75% it will just destroy the sand. But, well, since we have that up there, we have an infinite amount of possible sand. And, well, another way of getting it is... Let me first... Let me first turn this thing back to gravel. I am going to replace this eventually with a less... Uh, in the way system. Um, most of that is probably going to be sent back through here. Oh well. Um, okay. Uh, one more thing I'll need to set up here to automate things is because my plan is to use the flint that is coming from here to feed into this crafter. So it can automatically make uh, access for this, since eventually they will run out of durability in here. And stone axes are easy enough to make, and because they all make sticks as a side product, that can just be stuck back in here to, well, continue making axes. So yeah, it, it's just a recycling system. Uh, smart. I give you that. That's quite clever. And let's see, I'll just grab more of that there. You there. Uh, yeah, another way we can get our hands some some sand is by running gravel through the grinder. So let's put that well, back in here. But also another way to get in sand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just going to the beach and digging it up. <laughs> but what would be the yep. fun in that? Sand castles? Let's see. Actually, if I just pick up a bunch from here. Nope. Is it going to be in there long enough to be washed? I don't think it was. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit annoying, having to deal with this thing each time. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try to make a better version of this. Okay, so it to only ha exit out in portion of 16. Because portions of 17 and up will take longer to wash than they're, well, going through here. Uh, basically, what I'm planning for the upgraded version of this is that it won't just be run through it. Yes. Uh, through a bunch of washes, it'll just go around in a circle and then be picked out by a mechanical arm when it is processed. So that's getting us some more clay. Let's run the last bit of it through. Yep. Come on. It should start. Yeah, there we go. Once the text appears, then it'll actually re respond when we move the mouse wheel with this. Okay. Berries. Then we put it back to that. There. And yeah, uh, these source berries are useful. We can actually make mana potions with them, and they also serve as a decent food stuff. And well, we can also make purple dye out of them. Actually, source berry roll. Nice. Okay. I, I need to still need, I need to set up a wheat plant as well somewhere, or wheat farm. Wait, uh, well, you can make sauce berry yam, so you can put them on your pancakes. Let's see. Uh, normal crafting, we can't do that. Not brewing, not that. Uh, not there either. We can make. Okay, we can put put it through a mixer of what is immersive engineering. Okay. There's a fuel source, another fuel source, 
Nutritional paste. Okay. And then there's these lots. Okay. Okay, so we can't make jam out of that. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll have all of that removed at some point, but not at the moment. Okay, do we have any wheat? Yes, we have plenty of wheat at the moment, so let's remove that. Do that. I did not mean... <laughs> me being dumb. There. There we go. And now we just go back to making this. Let's see, we need... Two more of these. We have to, so we need six. Wait, are we still short? Wait, we we had more than one bit of clay. Where, where did the rest go? Still our inventory. Yeah, it, it won't pull from inventory most of the time. Okay, there we go. And then we just cooked it up. Do we still have? No, nope. these will do. Yeah, we, we have a big overflow of these saplings, so we might as well use them as fuel as well. Oh dear. I keep forgetting that if you right click on this, it'll take the take half of a stack, not just one thing like usual. Uh, put those in there, okay. those. Okay. And while whilst those are cooking, might as well take a look at what's in all of these. So there, there. Okay, it can be honed. Okay, decent amount of stuff. Silver, tin, aluminium, you know. Bring those through. Tin, osmium, lead, nickel. And some more diamonds and redstone. Okay. Nice. Nice little catch. Oh. Overlook that. Lapis and aluminum. Or aluminium. Or al aluminum. Whatever. Ali ali uh, aluminium, we say in Sweden. Go. Uh, we can remove that, put that there, there. I'm keeping those horns in case we run across Drake Maze and such. And we only actually need five of those, I think. I guess it is. Uh, once we actually start to get somewhere on this tower to actually make it in... Um, hold on. Into a tower, I feel like we could finally start making the village. Or call yeah, me, yeah. I mean. Uh, that there. Okay, so there it is. Oh, I think you can agree with me that when we tried in the last colony, it was kind of a hazard to do both the colony and our own base. We barely even had our own base. Yeah, we, we, were, we were basically improvised. homeless in our own colony. Yeah, we, we moved into the boat or lived in a hole in the ground. This was not dirty, but I'm not... Yeah, I almost accidentally do a Hobbit reference. <laughs> yep, I, I, oh yeah, you get the point. We, we were supposed to be the leader of colony, but yet we were, we were the ones that had the worst living. Yeah. Okay. There. There we go. One new anvil. We'll probably find the other one at some point again. <laughs> but then at least we'll don't, have a backup. Don't drop it. There we go. Okay, now take these. We go grab our string again because we put that away. Then we should be able to do good to another for bloody heck. We've we been at this for one hour already. <laughs> Yeah, and no, our idea was to actually, well, focus more on the magic stuff, but okay. There, we get five silky cloths. And we can put, use that to put that. Actually, we, 
we can't use that on the tetra uh, we we can't use that on the tetra stuff so we'll have to uh let's see we'll, i think we'll need to make a new pickaxe then that's also tetra um yeah okay um i remember i have a few of the casts still here somewhere i think it's in this one yes okay we'll need wait did i have the anvil around this thing did i accidentally bury it perhaps okay um yeah we'll have to remake a few tinker st uh, items then let's see where are they crafting station isn't it okay tinker station we need some patterns really out of sticks and wood so oak there okay uh tinker station there and then let's see part builder And being dumb, we need more patterns, which is why actually my why I made the damn sticks. Okay, uh, we have station, part builder, and that is about it. We could still make a crafting station, but we don't have a hard need for those. Actually, it's e easy enough to make one. Just grab that. Yep, undo all of that. Grab this one. And there we go. One crafting station. One part builder and a tinker station. Though the tinker station isn't really hard and really needed anymore since we have the tinker's anvil. But oh well. Here we go. Yeah. Actually. Mm, oh well. We could use it as a repair station still. Okay. Uh, pickaxe. Uh, we need material. <laughs> Do I have... Nope. Let's grab some cobble. My whilst we're here, and without me being dumb. Gold. Because we need to smelt the ads to make the casting pellet in state. Might as well grab some iron whilst we're here. To actually make it out of... If I forget, we are going to the nether, correct? Yeah, we are still going there. I'm just... All of this we're doing so we have a silk touch pickaxe. So yeah, we it... can actually, well, take those with. Yeah, I got it. I just thought I had an idea. We should True. probably grab some coal with us. Uh, yeah, and for the fox hounds. We, we need a fire resistance potion for to tame those, though. Oh, you need to have drunk one. To tame them, all right. I thought it was just for your own protection. Uh, no, I did try to you know, tame one uh, without, and well, they d didn't lead to anything. Uh, oh yeah, it, it, it's like with wolves. There's a chance of taming it. No, uh, it, it didn't even react to the coal in the first place. Okay, we need those. Uh, we need that. Okay. I just hope they haven't because... changed how you tame them, but that would be annoying if I, I watched an outdated video. There we go. For a pickaxe, we need... A, that's not a pickaxe, that's a, a pick adds. And where, there it is. Okay, yeah. Stick, handle, or binding, and tool heads. We have all three of those. Okay, might as well use this thing since it's here after all. We go. I've set control to the uh, <clears throat> to the clutch to stop it. Turn that off. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, remove that. We yeah we. Okay, we already have a tool binding uh, cast, so it was not entirely needed. Pickaxe that. Okay, 
There, there. And then we just smelt some of that, so we can actually cast it. Having it be completely out of iron might not be the best idea, but oh well. Okay. We could make a we could make a silk touch uh, hammer, but I think it actually takes a lot more of the endurance if you have if you do put silk touch on it. That, so that that's where we're just doing a look. normal one. Yeah, probably better. Uh, if we were uh, to who, upgrade who? our uh, spell book, we could actually use. Uh, uh, that's the silk touch things, but yeah, we we don't have it upgraded yet. Yeah, it probably take a while to get that upgrade even, and hopefully, we one day may replace the hammer with something more serious looking. Okay, there, there, there. Okay, and then we go to this. Put it in there. These all around it. And there we go. Silk Touch Pickaxe. We can still put a bit more stuff on there. So let's go grab an emerald and a diamond. To increase its durability. Since, well, it'll likely go through that quite, a, uh, quite fast. There and there. Hmm. I don't know what else could be put on to increase durability. Let's see, that adds 200. And... Okay, yeah, we're putting the diamond on. Okay, then now, because it's a bigger pool, it adds even more. It adds more than 200, so there we go. Um, whilst we're here, we might as well repair this thing. Repair, there. What was that you had the hmm. axe? Hmm? Oh, a hammer. Yes. Obsidian yeah. hammer. Yeah, it's the obsidian hammer we've been using for things. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Now I get ya. Hold on a sec. Okay, it needs an emerald for repairs. Because there's one socketed in the... Okay, that's a... That's a new one. Let's see. Is one that emerald. Good? It depends. We've been getting emeralds quite a lot. Let's... Okay, now I. Okay, that's odd. But maybe be... I'm guessing maybe because we it was complete. It was so low. It needed an emerald instead. But oh well. Um. Whilst we're here as well, then grab that. And not that. Oh, gosh, the hammer. <laughs> I feel like the, 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 the. But when we really helped up to, to be cool looking, ended up being the most ridiculous one. So it pains me every time we see that damn uh, sledgehammer. Um, I'll, I'll bring this one along in case we need to drop down. For now, these... Just, are... just don't slow fall into lava. <laughs> For uh, now even... we actually have... Uh, go on. Uh, e even if that were to happen, we would end up... Our stuff wouldn't end up burnt. It would just end up together in a uh, end up together in a grave but we would be careful actually you don't have to be careful with the grave since you can just right click and then everything will get instantly moved into your inventory well that's good but there's all the things I feel like we should be wor worried about besides just lava uh, yeah all of the animals so yeah, for that I could, reason I could see the bone serpent go full Jurassic World moves the soul upon you. Yeah, uh... I thought I just made more gold. Okay, 
there. Just a golden helmet, because we don't want to pick a fight with the inhabitants. Also, let's remove that and actually put on some <laughs> some armor that isn't almost destroyed. Yeah, uh, he, I was not, uh, he, here's something important that I want you to remember when you're in the nether. Oh, uh, we don't need never, those in chest, please. Never tell the piglins that you're an alchemist. Okay, so we did have some blaze rods there, but we'll be getting more anyways. Yeah, um, for people wondering, if they if the piglings get to know he's an alchemist, they're gonna try to kidnap him, try to force him to make gold. <laughs> not that kind of alchemist, at least not yet. Uh, I don't know that. I'm keeping this bucket around because we can actually store multiple things in it at once, I believe. And if we up, if we find a, an enchanted one or enchanted ourselves, it can even hold lava without burning up. Some okay. more of these. Okay. Put that away. Okay. I'll just store these in here. We can pop those open when we get back. For now, though, we can actually just go here now. And there we go. In the Please nether. Sort of block and oh, yeah, as you can cool. see, it's quite a distance away from uh, the portal. <laughs> the heck? Yeah, that is something that I found out with this pickaxe. It might be because of the emerald or something in it, uh, but sometimes it'll break. It'll break a secondary block next to the one that you break. So let's put that back in. Well, more I thought something was going to come charging, and I didn't expect it to be Junior. Yeah, yeah uh, what's put the Nether? Uh, this is because of that Nether Amplified mod that I added in. And there we go. One Blaze Spawner for us to work with. Uh, Apotheotic Spawner. Collect a Mob Spawner using Silk Touch. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's quite a bit different than we are, bleh, than, uh, we are used to. Oop, there's a Blaze attacking from somewhere. And that is that Amber Gel. So, yeah, we'll have to see how that works. There it is, the blaze. Okay. Think clones as well? Are they glowing? Uh, no, it's just because uh, we have the night vision goggles on, so everything is a lot lighter oh. to us. And just wait for that to work off. Okay, there's some magma cubes around as well. Magic fire or something. There's several types of fire here. There we go. This is how it usually looks. Okay, yeah, this is another I'm familiar with. So let's put those back on. Okay. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure there are more. Of, uh, there are more blaze spawners around here. I'm not going to attack you because that is trouble. It's this warped soul sand. Okay. Uh, where did that blaze go and where did it even come from in the first place? Let's see. Is it blaze? Hey, yo. Nope. Still got to be careful not to fall through somewhere. And we need to hide all of those again. Hmm. Okay, yeah. With the with this one, we can make our blaze blood uh, smeltery again. And we just need to find another one to actually farm some blaze rods from now, because to set up a smeltery for that again, it take a bit. And I probably should have made and made a shield again. 
Let's see. Oh. Uh, what the? I think that's what? some sort of Anders, Ender stuff. Let's see. Oh no, it's soil sand. The yeah, warped soil. Let's see. What is it? Warped soul, so, uh, soul soil. Yeah. Still, why is it generated like that? I think it's supposed to be flowing out. There's a bunch of wither skeletons there, and one over here as well. Come on. I'm not sure if it's part of the the amplified nether mods, but some of them have bows. Yeah, ex there. Oh, there's uh, here's one fact. The origin were meant to have bows as well. But they decided against it, but they realized it would be a bit too powerful to let them have bows. Yeah, and still have the so wither can... effect. Yeah, and you can spawn them in apparently. And you see how deadly they are, for they are faster shooters than uh, regular skeletons. And they shoot for much longer range. So, yeah, you can see before. the problem there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. None of these are fully grown. Resist. Well, I could just use hold the right mouse button to hit the end. Yeah, to harvest the ones that are grown automatically. There's yep. a bunch of Don't blazes around. Yeah, there's a few. I think they just naturally spawn around the fortresses as well now. Holy. Uh, do I? Yes, I have it with. Uh, we haven't actually made an attack spell with this. Uh, there. Projectile, and then... Not mage block, mage, not mage. Let harm. Okay. Let's see. It additively increases the power of most spell effects, can increase the harvest level of break. Uh, let's just keep that... Uh, let's just call that... Uh, In harm's way? One... And then we make a big one of it. There. There we go. Can we even cast this at the moment? Not time using you as a target. But <laughs> that actually one shots them, okay. Uh do yeah. You're not a wizard. <laughs> a harmful wizard. Get no rods from that one. Let's see. Gotta be careful since there's no railings up on the roof. Oh, hello. There's a spawner for us to collect. Or actually to farm off of. Okay, how do we get to that one, though? Without getting burned ourselves? Good uh, question. Hmm. We could... We could just dig through the floor over there. But then we don't know where to actually run to from there. Okay, there's... Hmm. Is that going to connect to there? Oop, hello. Actually, <laughs> I I think it takes up our entire health, uh, our entire mana bar. But you, yeah. crap! Well, you, just wait till when you can get some proper equipment to extend your mana. Yeah, and well, these also help regenerate mana more. Ooh, For that's a whole a minute actually, and they didn't actually care about that. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't actually care that I zapped one of theirs. I guess the, I guess technically it counts as the projectile actually killing uh, the <laughs> the zombie the zombie pigman. 
instead of me. Huh. Okay, not sure if I've been on this part yet. A cactus? Now it's the sa uh, the soul uh, sorry. Where's the plant that you will walk past? Uh, no, I think ones. those are. I think they're coral. Nether coral. All right. Yeah, warp but coral one... block. Oh, those. Are... Okay, no, there was not the one I saw. For it also looked like a cactus up there. That you walk past. Okay. Uh, oh, hello, those. What? What are yeah. these? Coral fan. <laughs> warp cactus. Okay. Uh, so it was a cactus. Uh, there's that spawner. Okay, just gotta go down here. I don't think I've accessed this place, you know, this part of the fortress yet, but uh, again, I didn't explore the entirety of this on purpose. So, I'm guessing that's a skeleton spawner then? Nope, it's... <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah, it's blazes. And that's that obsidian skull is proving really useful in fighting these things. <laughs> Holy mo! Milda Matilda. <laughs> yes, actually phrased. I don't hear much anymore. The sweet user say Milda Matilda, my Matilda. <laughs> okay. We'll I don't know where it comes from. Uh, let's see, we didn't actually get any blaze rods out of that. Let's leave this one over here. Miss. Oh, that's a... Still hurts, still hurts, still hurts. Okay, uh, is there... Is there a rune for... Let's see, the therapy is too powerful for you. I'm guessing there might be a rune for, well, dousing flames on oneself. Let's see, is the skull recharging or something? No. Hmm. Maybe too many fireballs with too, like, I, mean, I guess it reduced fire damage. But normally it's, it's their problem when too many of them shoot you. Yeah. We're on fire, but we're not taking damage. Here we go. It'd probably be best if I just block all of that off. And yeah, it's recharging now. Um, yeah, let me just go yeah, grab a bunch of netherrack. This time we're gonna replace that hammer someday. Please. <laughs> Someday, but not today. Let me grab this as well, because we can always use that always use quartz. Osmium, okay. Damn it. Yep, now they're all coming after me. Uh, stupid pig. Okay. We have at least two blaze rods. And... Well... They aren't too difficult on their own. Kill 10 blazes, okay. And now they're being meat shields for the widow skeleton, the actual threat. Okay. Oh, 
I want to... Okay, well, I was going to say I want a few more rods than just two, but, well, we just got it there. Let's see. I can hear one of them moving around. Be the rebel of King Fire! Let's see, we need at least two for upgrading the spell book, I think. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, two, some quartz, obsidian, and diamonds. We have enough of those. It's just blaze rods, which we don't have too many of. Okay. I should maybe move the waystone over here since the fact that this one is half blocked off already makes it a bit easier to deal with them. That I'm pretty sure that would have led to lava if I actually jumped down it. Very possible. Okay, I thought I heard them spawn behind. So smoke the Where is the smoke coming from? Yeah, that you'll those are the spell of particles that are giving us. N that's giving us a night vision, I think. No, actual burning smoke. Okay. It's gone now, apparently. That's one side. When it's more than one gasp at a time, and that is when they spawn. Gasp? Yeah, the, the sound that they make. Oh, you mean... Alright, I thought you were mixing up mobs again. There we go. We now got ten rods. Feeling they would spawn again. And the skull is charging. Okay. Okay, that'll be hard for them to get out. So... Let's see. Over here. And, okay, that is not too far away from that. And just create waypoint. There. Okay. Oh, a, a bit high. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we can edit these, I think. Edit. Uh, why? Let's make that 50. Yep. Let's leave it as Let's is and just get the hell out. Yeah, I think you need to investigate where these quests comes from. I feel like you may have a lot of rewards to claim. Uh, let's see, I think it's part of the advancement stuff, or achievements, which button is that? Oh, parting enabled, what? 
Let's <laughs> disable that. Oh, it... What? Four thing? I think that's part of evil craft. And it... we didn't need to dig down there. We could have just gone this way. Okay. There and get out. Okay. Yeah, th these <laughs> these barrel rolls are proving very useful. Yes, well, they heal us. Well, they lead to healing. And they also give us... Uh, uh, that's what the particles are from. The mana regen. Uh, yeah, the regen is also very useful for when we're fighting. He means berry rolls, people. Not barrel yeah. roll. <laughs> okay, let's store all of this away. We'll, we'll, we'll try our hand at elemental craft at some point. But not for now. Uh, necrotic bones, skull fragments. We're yeah, keeping no, you. What can we use the cactus for? Let's see. We can make cyan dye out of it. And that's about that. So uh, It's just decorative, I think. It still looks nice. It's a bit ex exotic. Uh, oh, we got Essence of Undeath somewhere. Always nice to grab that. Some miniature hearts, prosperity shards, which are always useful. Okay. Run that and that through. Yeah, nothing in there that needs to work. I, <laughs> I've just been carrying it around the entire time, haven't I? Uh, well, we have a spare. What was he made of? Amethyst bronze. Dear, of course it is. There, there, and now we have a full major spell book. Instead nice. of just a novice spell book. Okay. Yep. But for the next one, we're going to need to defeat a boss. Yeah, the, we need a nether star and a Walden tribute. Obtained by w defeating the Walden Chimera. See summoning of... Uh, see ritual of summon Walden. Okay. Yeah, you, and, you've done this, if I think. And no, we haven't done any ritual uh, rituals of summoning. We've done some rituals where we could uh, turn the, the shards into familiars, but not this. And yeah, we also need one of remember. these. No, no, we, we did kill the wither, but we didn't do... We didn't do complete the whole thing. No. Oh, yeah, we started it, but then finished. Okay, is there and anything like, we can add? I feel like I can give the, that harm spell of ours a better name. Uh, what then? Arcane Blast? Arcane Fire? Or... Like, Arcane Fire will fit if you could add Burn. So I guess Arcane Blast? For it, you all shoot a... a purple ball that hits hard. <laughs> there we go. Okay, is there any other things we here that we can easily get at the moment? A craft... It opens the crafting menu. <laughs> okay. Uh, why the hell not? Actually, let me try something. We know that this thing will actually pull stuff from nearby things. From nearby inventories. Or it, needs, it wants the axe, not the pickaxe. So what if we place it near the crafting uh, terminal here? Okay. Craft. Select. And it does pull it out there. Okay, that, that is extremely useful to learn, actually. Nice. That way we can keep a lot of stuff in here. What is that? A nether brick. Okay, and what does that dampen? Uh, decrease the power of most spells. Decreases magic cost slightly, but never above zero. Okay, not really sure why we would want that. And we don't have any of those, it seems. But is this telling us it makes them cheap at the cost? Yeah, but also weaker. It... 
Yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, space. I guess it's space. There we go. Um, just a singular brick. Where is that? Oh, no. no. I'm having a red alert flashbacks. <laughs> ah, there. Okay, we... We just cook some nether rack for that. What can we actually make with these? Blast brick? Nether brick chain, okay. All right. Um, let's just grab a stack of that then. And throw it in there. Oh, that... <laughs> that was nether wart that I grabbed, not nether brick. There we go. Uh, one less for a full stack. There. Okay. Let's grab one of you. And there we go. Another rune. Though I'm not sure we'll get much use out of this one. I... Okay. I don't know how that ended up on there, but oh well. Uh, let's see. We don't have any eyes of Ender, and if we do, we want them to. We want them for our own use. Uh, duration down, to extend time. I'm not sure if we have any clocks. Lock. We don't have any rabbit's feet. We. There's something in there that. What is that? Source relay splitter. Okay, we don't have that. Aquatic and. Okay, from here on, some of these start to require these. Essences, which we can't we can't make yet. Uh, let's see. You have a free spell. Why? Why? Is, why did it put Nether Brick on there again? Did you? Did you kind of use forest? No. <laughs> that is disabled. Is it is it pulling that from here or something? Uh, item pickup, knockback. No, I'm looking for the ones that don't require an item yet. Okay, we don't have any fishing rods. Should be easy enough. Just some sticks and string. No, it's sticks and stone. Oh, it, I didn't think... I didn't see it get pulled out. There we go. Again, what is with the nether rack? Put you there, then. Okay. Essence, essence, essence. Summon steel. Oh, yeah, this is one we got a lot of use out of last time. If, yeah, actually, you, if we don't... amplify this one, what does that do? Yeah, just... Just don't give it horse armor, since it disappears. Yeah. Sun wolves. Essence, 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 essence. Yeah, I... I, I, use, the, hmm? I feel like some wolves could be useful. Yeah, especially if we just need to run away for some, from something. And yeah, all of these tier th threes are, are, yeah, are going to require essences, which makes sense. Someone undead, wither. someone vex. Oh, implied a wither deep heart. That could be useful. Uh, yeah. Lightning? Yeah, yeah lightning. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that, that actually could be fun. Summons a lightning bolt at the locations. Entity structs will be given the shocked effect, shocked cause. So there's all additional lightning damage to deal bonus damage. Increases the level of shocked up to level 3. Uh, lightning also deals bonus damage to entities that are wet or wearing RF-powered items. Can be augmented with amplified damp and extend time. Okay. Uh, but first, though, it's let's like actually go grab someone this. Someone have found a new toy. <laughs> okay, first of the... Lightning, very, very frightening. 
Let's see. Project projector can it be augmented by AOE? What? It should be, or let's see. break. There we go. That needs to be act. And then we need two of those, I think, to make it a three by three. And let's see. Conjure mage block. No mage light. No, no, no. Pickup would actually be helpful in the, uh, actually well picks up whatever uh, it would break. It picks up nearby islands in the medium radius where the spell is activated. The range may be expanded with AoE. Okay, I'm guessing activated means where it it sets up its effect is set off, not where it's caused from. Mm. Okay. Big three, we'll call that, and then over here, summon steed. Uh, self, what can we add to that? It can't be. Uh, it can't be amplified. It seems. Oh, it can. No, oh, that is AOE. What? What would that do with summon steed? Does that summon more steeds? Let's take a look. Go test that out. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, it summons more. Okay. But that kind of useful, if you think about it. In multiplayer, at least. And what are you this? writing there? Summon a shining steed, because this... Should also apply late mage light to us. So if we were to pull these off. Oh, uh, it didn't. It probably didn't work because of the summoning sickness. But yeah, that should light us up as well. If as we go around on our uh, on our summon steed. Yeah, I just realized the horses are white. We could name the spell Summon Binky. <laughs> Let's see if I cast it again now with the shining bit. Oop. That gave us night vision. Okay. So oh so that is what happens when you cast Mage Light on yourself. Alright. Uh, not entirely needed, but I will. There, just summon steed. Okay, that is done. Uh, let's actually... I, I was about to say there hasn't been any music played so far, and yet the exact moment that I go to open my mouth, it starts speaking, it starts up. Uh. <laughs> okay. Put you back on. And let's have a look here. Getting started. Da, da, da. Source. Uh, yeah. Easiest way we can get source at the moment is by, well, involving it with uh, plants. So let's go make ourselves a farm. Uh, let's grab some of. No. Yeah, one yeah. of those. They're probably going to get a soil to fix that. Uh, oh. Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for yeah. Thank you for following Chevy sh uh, show. I uh, hope you like the show. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Doing well, I hope. Uh, that's a bit more than I need of those. Uh, let this just. I need just need a few stacks from these. There. I think they replied in the chat. Uh, SC Love, uh, supportive creators, I presume. <laughs> Good to see you all the same. Then, but all the same. I say, I say that as if it's a bad thing. It, all the better for it. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, uh, then? Yeah. Yes. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's expand over here. We could actually move this down to out 
one source block since we don't need too many of them. Let's see. Yep. Ow. It, it is a bit annoying about these source berries. Okay. Um. Yep. yep. Didn't mean to put that there. Actually, just do this there, 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 and there. There's still open underneath, but oh well. Okay. Uh, for for distance, so four. No. Let's see. one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Four. Do remember to feel under them as well. Yeah. So we don't want any we don't want any zombies spawning underneath it. One, two, three. Oars. Okay, there we go. And there. There. Let's see. We're going to get lunch soon, so can only hang for uh, three minutes. Uh, but we'll leave a tap up for, uh, when you have to uh, go. Okay. Uh thanks for yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here all the same, even if it is as short as yeah, as that. It's it's appreciated all the same. And well, there's always oh, the replays. Yeah. yeah, it's always like to have some people to either watch along with us or watch afterward. As long as we make people happy, we are happy. Yeah. <laughs> On mobile fat frame, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it happens to everyone. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm thinking we could make this half source berries, half wheat, since we know they can mix up together. Uh, did I yeah, I think they drain uh, energy from source berry. They get the most from trees, though, a special oak tree, even. Let's see. Ag agricultural source link. Uh, generate source for nearby crops and tree growth. Bonus manner is generated for magical plants such as maize blooms, source berry bushes, and artswood saplings. Okay. Source will be up. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> I've said it enough times now. We'll do an entire one for source berries then. For the moment. <clears throat> yeah, we can all have some for the wheat as well, just, just because we can. Uh, though we can also grow wheat in uh, some immersive engineering stuff. Just uh, there, wheat, and we can make it in these garden cloaks or whatever cloque. What? <laughs> However, you're supposed to say that. What? Yeah, we we used those before. For some reason. If we're too close to these with the hoe, it'll farm. It'll farm them in instead of well, doing this. And we'll have to get rid of this chest here to get a full of field. But yeah, we can use those things to easily grow things for us that we need automated. We used it before for uh, the infernium in the previous world. Okay, do we have enough room for that? I don't think we have. Nope. Luckily, I have this backup chest here. Because I, well, I had to move around a few yeah, chests worth of stuff earlier. Uh, nope. There. What did I just hear? It's, it sounded like something had planted or something. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I thought I heard. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, also, a little something. Uh, one. Uh, one. Uh, yeah, a drink that I really like is apparently made from these things. It's black currants. Can we actually make that with these? Uh, no, we can just make a fruit salad. Compostable canning. Oh, canned foods. I I I I know I like the red ones. I never like the black ones, though. Uh, the, the black currants, I mean. Red ones, I liked, uh, loved as a kid. Just 
I did, did mistake and tried to make them into a drink. <laughs> okay. I recommend to not turn red currant into a drink as a kid. For just squishing them, the use into a glass of along with the pop, you just expect it to taste like wine. Because in Sweden, we call them Röda Vinbär. Which means, literally means red wine berry. And I uh, presume it turned out very much not to. Let's... Well, you could barely feel your lips and tongue afterwards. <laughs> of course, you feel like your, your entire mouth was drying up and just shrinking. It was so sour. But yeah, the black currant is what we call Svatta Vinbär, black wineberry. Okay. This is the apparently the one you like. Ooh. Yeah, damn it, this again. There we go. I don't know why it does that. I guess I guess something in the game itself or through a mod just ups those being used yeah, just adds a higher priority to actually uh oh that breaks them without giving the berries back okay uh without actually yeah it, it puts a higher priority to harvest than to well work the fields it's going to turn these back into normal ground it's the out of range of the water. Bounce. 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 There bounce, we go. Bounce. Okay, gotta go grab some food and run a couple errands. Have an awesome stream. I'll leave out a tab of Yeah, you go have fun. And I, I, I hope you'll enjoy meal. your meal. <laughs> yeah, have a proper feast. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this open because I believe there already was some... Th Last time we used something that automatically harvests in here. Then we can put the source thing on top of that. Uh, let's see, how do we actually make one? Okay, some source gems. We, we need to make a thing that makes the source gems. Um, ingot and wheat. Okay. Actually, that needs to be put on top of a jar, I believe. No, source will be output from the source link to nearby jars within five blocks. Okay, bone needling doesn't grant crops. Okay. Uh, I think we have some source gems. We'll have to see if that's enough. Don't run with a book in your hand if you're trying to open places. Um, let's see. Did I pick them up earlier? I probably did. So they're probably in the system now. Oop. Uh, uh, sup, Kratos. Uh, <laughs> hello and thanks for the follow. <laughs> That's actually the Please group, follow. I think. Uh, source. Yeah, there we go. It's here then. Uh, yeah, sup, Kratos is uh, short for support of Kratos, which is a group which uh, some people I know of are, uh, well, are affiliated with. And uh, yeah, I'm... I'm indirectly affiliated through that, you could say. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see, sword. Stay in, welcome. Uh, let's see. At Ars Nouveau, and then the agricultural thing. Let's see. Ag. Yep. You go. Hey there, in chat. Okay. Yeah, it's that. Uh, source jar we need. Uh, there, source jar. That's the one. That should be the one. And we don't have any archwood slabs at the moment, but that can easily be fixed. We just need more glass. Okay, for glass, we need to, well, get more sand. Let's see. Uh, Chevy. Um, when it, yeah, it means. Okay, <laughs> welcome. Uh, welcome uh, oh, you just a different. Hmm? Uh, Yep, yeah, I'm starting to brain fart because I'm multitasking. Let's see, we need some sand. We need to make some glass out of that. 
Uh, I keep forgetting that which of these it's in. These were the ones it was in. Okay, uh, plenty of saplings in here to keep cooking with. Remove those and put those in there. <laughs> A bunch of remote spam started already, it seems. <laughs> uh, let's see, what was that that I had put underneath in the previous one that automatically harvested? Uh, harvest... Um... No, what the heck? Beaver harvest. What? <laughs> okay. I think you've heard that oh, before. You can summon beavers. Harvester pylon. This is the one. Harvest crops in a configurable radius around the pylon. Just place inside or above the water block. Okay. And we need some polished blackstone and quartz slabs for that. Okay. So... Blackstone. Okay, we do have some. Not a lot. There we go. Um, quartz. There. One, two, three. And there we go. Some quartz slabs. There we go. One harvester pylon ready for use. Uh, let's see. Just place it. Oh, it actually has the ponder thing. Okay, let's see. It's placed in the water block. Needs a hoe in its uh, inventory to operate. Uh, the turbo will be used up. Needs storage above it to place harvest items in. Let me set the 3x3, 5x5, 7x7, etc, etc. Nice. Okay. It, that, this, that ponder system is very useful with mods to actually explain what the hell some things do. What other pylons yeah. are there? And I kind of like the pun that you, you don't build a complex, huge machine. You just put a simple block in water and it does it by itself. It look nice. Uh, we'll just need something above it, like a crate or a barrel. Here we go. Then we can put the source jar and the source link on top of that. See, does it need just need to be closed by how much of a radius does it have? Oop. And that's the stream timer going off. Uh first off, low, let's keep let's set this up further. The source jar, the archwood slabs. Uh arch woods. There we go. Uh move that. Source jar, make that. We need the glass first. <clears throat> okay, something is starting to complain inside me. There we go. Um, one other thing that we definitely need to set up. Uh, yeah, obtaining source gems. Uh, apparatus crafting. Enchant is up. I believe this is... The, the, no... There was that thing that we used to make source gems, uh, which we had one of the scrolls automate as well. Uh, let's see. To make these imbuement chamber, that's the thing. Okay. So, imbue. There we go. Imbuement chamber. Okay, simple enough. If we had more arch wood, but for that we have plenty of woods to go. There we go, just a stack. So we'll be good for about uh, for a while. There, there. Okay. Now we're set up for this basically. If we can find one of the, the squirrels, the star bunkles, we can use that to automate the creation. Okay. First. This one goes in. Take two. You. Goes in there. That goes on top. Uh, probably best if we leave an opening to work through. Okay. Tool and tool. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, let's set it to seven by seven. We'll, it'll, it is only a four by four. Actually, yeah, five by five should work instead then. Okay. And... Hmm. Let's see. That and that. We put the source jar on top here. And the... I guess that works as well. <laughs> I hope. And that should start. I'm I'm guessing this isn't doesn't actually work on these. Or... Yeah, they, they are fully grown. Hmm. It might not work with these since Yeah, they're not <laughs> they're not really standard. Uh, in that case, we might have to build a create thing to harvest them. But them just growing should be enough to start filling up the source jar. Hopefully. Wait, 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 wait. What if the mod had its own version for these things? I think you just drained them some mod. Okay, at least something is working. Let's see. So uh, it is filling up. That is good. And we can probably make uh, a familiar to harvest them. Let's see. Automation. Uh, I think the fairies might have had that. Let's see. Starbuckle. Uh, Woolly's Brick. Let's see. The third. Curious Nature Sprites. There. We'll begin producing natural materials, including wood, crops, seeds, and flowers that exist around them. Wild woolly pigs can be befriended if a tree is grown near them. Let's see. Summoning. Happiness. Import. Product. Um, hmm. I don't think that's actually harvesting that they will do. Uh, if you do stay able to hopefully. Yeah, there's probably something else that can do harvesting for us. Yeah, but I don't think... be surprised if there's a machine with Ors Nouveau that is does something similar. Okay, you, you see how it's also coming from the uh, from the kelp from across? It's also working. It's also being affected by the kelp uh, farm. So we nice. might we might actually be just put that over here, and make a small of a, a smaller farm over here for the berries as we are not going to need this many one of some of them are you sure I, I, i'm pretty sure the villagers would love the those cookies <laughs> yeah they're not cookies there's berry rolls at the moment but we could make berry pies with them and we need but to find some maize bones still Magical berry <laughs> pie. Uh, how do we make maize? We need to hold on. I think it's set there for a moment. Uh, there. It's grown from seeds crafted using the enchanting apparatus. Okay. Uh, which is the last thing we need to set up at the moment. We'll just set it down here. And yeah, that should be that should start to draw in source from the area. I'm not sure if it is close enough to the jar. But if we put some amethyst shards in there or lapis, it should start turning them into source gems, of which we'll need a hell of a lot. So let's see. And okay, we have a bunch of these, and we can set up. We have plenty of amethyst blocks for when we make our amethyst golem let me actually check how much do we need to make this and to perform a ritual of awakening near burning amethyst to obtain the key what do we need to do the ritual of uh enter of awakening uh let's see performing rituals sunrise no Uh, let's see. Projectile source. Um, hmm. Where is the ritual? Let's see. Uh, rituals of awakening. 
okay. That is actually pretty cheap. If that is all we need, let's see. Uh, awakens nearby archwood trees into wield walkers and budding amethyst into amethyst golems. Uh, weird walkers can be giving a position in the wall to guard against hostile mobs. They will heal over time and turn into wield uh, uh, wadlers if they die. To create a wield walker, perform a ritual near the base of an archwood tree. Okay, we can make our own ends. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap! For that we need, we just need though this to make a tablet of awakening. Uh, but how do we perform the actual ritual then? Uh, performing uh, rituals. That's a ritual brazier and a tablet. Once you've obtained the tablet and brazier, place your brazier in the world and use the tablet on it. That brazier. it's that simple. Or brazier. Bracer, no brazier. It said it. It is an I and E there. They are pronounced differently in this case. Bracer is supposed to pronounced bracer, not brazier. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem to be drawing from the source jaw. It, I think it actually needs a re something to redirect it or something. But yeah. We have the basis for, cre if not create, for Ars Nouveau set up now. And uh, yeah, we've already gone a little bit over time. But it has been quite a while since we played this game. Oh yeah, we should probably do it a little bit more often. Besides, yeah. Instead of just once per month. Yeah, but it is basically our, when we, uh, our fifth stream in the week. Maybe we can do one less of the... Of our primary stream instead. Yeah, then we do, yeah, one for at the moment, one Rayman, one uh, Shantae, and then one Minecraft or something like that. Uh, I was moving of like twice or three times a month. <laughs> like, yeah, it, uh, it, it really depends with one? work, how long that, you know, how often it'll allow me to stream. Uh, yeah, true, true. Uh, no it rains. Uh, I can hear an Enderman, who is probably having a very bad day now with all of the rain. Uh, before we go, I'll just grab these. And I'm guessing it's somewhere inside. I can hear it in a bit far away. Uh, RSN. There we go. Just... As a reminder for myself to make these, uh, I'll try to I'll try to work mostly on our stuff on stream, but I'll probably do a bit of prepping and such uh, off stream. I I won't go. I, actually, before we go, I'll show the uh, am the spot of the amethyst that I had dug out. And where did I leave? Uh, there it is. Yeah, I'll just show where that amethyst was that I dug out. So, send you down. And we'll just go and follow to along with it. Actually, I probably just could have gone down and walked around <laughs> to jump down the shaft. But oh well. I heard it again there. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. It seems like I'm sneezing at least once per day per stream or something. Okay, and then the corner here, and well, that this was all of the budding amethyst that was on this in this entire thing. I I dug around the entirety of it, uh, and yeah, just left these in here. I don't think I'll actually use that in case it'll actually break the budding uh, one. Or the botting block because you can't uh, pick you you cannot <clears throat> you can't silk touch these budding amethysts they will just turn into blocks of amethysts nice which stars. well is not what we want or purple suns and there we go 
Uh, yeah, I, I'll just have to do that ritual over here. That'll give us five amethyst. No, one, two, three, four, six amethyst golems to work and make mo automate uh, the production of these. And if I can then get some starbuncles, the squirrels again, I could have those ferry the yeah, <clears throat> ferry the yeah, the yeah, I can have those ferry the amethyst shards to the enchanters and then pull out the source gems. And yeah, <laughs> completely automate the source stuff with Ars Nouveau stuff alone. Nice. And also, it looks very fantastical in that room with those just levitating about. Well, I, I could technically use the golems to turn an entire room into clusters like that. Well, I'm not sure if it would be... I don't think they damage you on contact, but I don't think it would be too comfortable to walk through a, a floor covered entirely by those things. Yeah. Might be painful, especially if you trip. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, for now, that'll be it for tonight. Um, we can do another stream tomorrow in the afternoon. We, we could do that an, as an extra... Yeah, Minecraft stream, though I was thinking about doing Dark Tide as well. Um, no, that, that still has some that, that still has some server up, uh, problems every now and then. It, it takes a bit to load in. Uh, you expect things to... Uh, let me just say this. The Fat Shark, the creators of Dark Tide, haven't been known for their best launches uh, since the start, it seems. Uh... But from what I heard, the launch of Vermintide 1 and 2 was a lot worse than currently with Dark Tide. And it is still a very enjoyable game. You just got to have some patience with it on, well, loading in. And uh, <clears throat> so, uh, a, yeah, a few disconnects here and there. A and video that I quickly stopped watching. They were talking about... Uh, they seemed to be talking about that... Uh, that the uh, uh, fat sharks were possibly doing sh shady things and all that. I just felt like, no, I'm not gonna bother with this guy. They apparently go way too much into conspiracy theory right off, just of a, over a shaker launch. Uh, is that that any chance third echelon gaming? Actually not. Okay, because I I used to watch that guy for a while, but. Yeah, he's he's just gone off the the deep end from what I know. But yeah, let's just not let's not go into stuff like that. Instead, let's go over here, quit the game. I, I might actually start just <laughs> I I think I might just put up a a copyright free radio or something to go along with that in the future because there's just the the music just starts up so few times. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you got flashbanged by that opening up in the wrong monitor again? Yep. It is better than be, be, you flashbanging me with pure white light. <laughs> yeah, for, for some reason, Discord and OBS are still in disagreement about that. Okay. Uh, change the... <clears throat> pardon. Change the screen share over to the browser. And let's have a look at who is online. Uh, the Orcs cast are playing that open TTT, uh, TTD game again. Uh, which is basically a sort of a transport tycoon. I, I think that's actually the original game. And uh, that open TTD uh, is a mod or something that turned into a full game of its own or something. And uh, oh, Kena is playing, is streaming Dark Tad and they have 183 viewers. So that, I think usually I've seen them get like 30 or 50 viewers, not this many. <laughs> okay. And hello over there. Torpid Typist is play, is streaming Alone in the Dark. Uh, let, let's have a peek. Which one is that? It can't be the new one. I don't No, It's, it's the original. <laughs> okay. Uh, the heck is this? Are they doing some sort of simultaneous stream or something? Where it... Oh, no, it's, it's a free stream, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I wouldn't have expected someone to make that into uh, animation for a free stream. Uh, let's see. Chaos D1 is streaming Shadows Over Loathing yet again. Uh, Thury Pop is streaming Dark Tides. Amber Grey, I think we've seen them in the recommended once or twice before, is streaming Faith Chapter 3. Victorian is streaming A Plague Tale Requiem. Niki Yanagi, yeah, Niki Yanagi is streaming Pokemon Scarlet or Violet version. Uh, Furry Freaks is streaming Stalker Anomaly. I've, I know I've seen that Fussy. one pop up there, boy. Huh? Fussy Freaks. Yeah, fu <laughs> uh, me being stupid once again. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fuzzy Freaks. Uh, yeah, Stalker Anomaly. And then <laughs> Peepo Pixie is streaming Garfield cards. <laughs> okay. Oh, good gods. Any of those sound interesting? Hmm. Um. Good question. I I'm actually leading towards Peepo Pixie or Torpid uh, Typist at the moment. Uh, Torpid Typist, who was that again? The Alone in the Dark one. We're still in the pre stream, it seems. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think Alone in the Dark one. Says, I, I'm so, I'm sorry to say this, Hilia, but I don't like Garfield. <laughs> okay, I would. Oh, they're they're starting. Okay, all well, the better then. Go back to our channel slash raid not, raid not ra. It's it, why is it not? There we go. Slash not raid not riot. There we go. Paste. And, uh, yeah, but we, before we start the stream, yeah, we start the raid. Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Chevy's show, for showing up and <laughs> sitting along a bit. Uh, I hope you did enjoy what you saw and maybe more in the replay if you choose to go look at that. Uh, if not, thanks all the same anyways. And uh, thank you as always, Drakir, of course. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, let's start the raid. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have to see what we da stream then tomorrow. Either Dark Tide or Minecraft. Uh, Hex said he had, that he wouldn't be available to join in on Dark Tide if it was in the afternoon, and we can't do an evening stream because I have, uh, I, <clears throat> I have an early shift in the day after, so it, it would be ill advised for me to do a stream then. So, yeah. Uh, anything else? Nothing I don't think I think of. I do feel like it might be smart to do another Minecraft tomorrow, since it does seem that like it could be a gamble with trying Dark Tide. Yeah, since it is still a bit unstable. Uh, yeah, it, let's just do another Minecraft stream tomorrow then, yeah. <laughs> Probably safer. Uh, okay, but until then... Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for rabbit, uh, ravishing berries.